That's oh, the thing. It's an altitude. She's spot. working. We do this every week. Going to Cracker Barrel again? We're back at Ocean Reef today, and we have lots of great things that we're placing into the aquarium. The uh, number one most important thing is the copper band butterfly, the last of six that we received last week, and we're gonna acclimate it into the all aquaculture Pacific Reef Aquarium. But first, I'm gonna clean the glass. You can see there's a little bit of algae. That's about every four days we clean the, the glass with a floating magnet. see just how great the corals are growing. You got your Hydnophora, your Stylophora, your green star polyp up there is just a, a beautiful thing. Look at that orange money cap. Just look how huge that's grown. It's got all these great fingers on it. It's attached to the rock. It's doing super well. From last time we were here on the last video, it was about six months ago, but you can see all the rock has purple coralline algae on it now. It's really grown in with purple. And we're gonna plant a few more corals today, all aquaculture as we've done from the entire process of these aquariums. I have this great little super ultra green cabbage leather down here. It's doing really good. Then there's a Kenya tree and another green cabbage leather there. That's a really special coral. There's a nice zoanthid over here, a multicolored one. We planted a bunch on there. That's been in culture for about six months. So we've cleaned the glass on the Pacific Reef Aquarium. All the aquaculture corals are just doing fabulous. And I have their new special guest. The final and sixth copper band butterfly is going to go into his new home right now. Come on, buddy. Let's go in. We're going to go ahead and, and bring him up here. I'll pop the rubber band and we'll do a little acclimation. And the new guys are going to come take a look at them. They're going to be so excited to see them. They're like, oh, who's that guy? And we're going to switch over to the Atlantic Aquarium and put a couple of accordia polyps and those uh, blue reef damsels in there. The Atlantic Aquarium is doing spectacular. Lots of good coralline algae everywhere. We got some great biology. We've got a great set of Atlantic fish in here. So these two blue reef chromis that we received from Dynasty Marine have been in our facilities for about a month. They're doing super well. I've been acclimating them for a while and soon enough they'll get out of their bag when they figure out how to get out of one end or the other. But just a fabulous fish in the Atlantic Reef Aquarium. And the Atlantic Reef Aquarium is doing so great now. You can see down here, the three boulder corals that we glued down back in, I think October we put them in, but they're already attaching to the rocks and getting close to each other. So they're growing super well, healthy in the aquarium. You can also see how big the staghorn has gotten there. The staghorn coral has probably doubled in mass, has a lot of nice white tips growing all over, and that is attached to the rock in three different places and growing super well. And then we had a piece of aquaculture fire coral that was overgrowing from the live rock, the aquaculture live rock from the Florida Keys. We also had a couple pieces fell off and Giovanni glued them to the sidewall on the stone and they're already attaching and looking really good. So we'll eventually have fire coral growing up the side of the aquarium, which would be super cool. So we had a couple questions on our viewers on um, how we do drains and uh, how we return the water from the aquarium back to the sump. Basically what we have is two drains that are regular open drains, and then we have a solid siphon. Now this solid siphon has a 90-90. I go ahead and do a little drill in the top to do a siphon break. These are Spears, two inch gate valves. They just make it easy for control. If I were to close these valves all the way, you get a lot more water coming down the drains and you get a lot of noise. Uh, the reason we use this system is because a lot of the clients that we deal with don't want to hear the noise splashing. So we try to eliminate that so we don't get any calls or any emergency calls uh, by just adding a solid siphon. And we do about 80 to 90% of the water through here and the rest 10% through 
through here. I'll go ahead and dial it down to eliminate all this salt all over the place by just eliminating all the bubbles and all the noise. Dead silence. Okay, so the Blue Reef Comus are now in their new home. So when I was cleaning the aquarium with a stick, I knocked off a little piece of Acropora down here. It's basically a frag of the Acropora cervicornis, and I've got to get it in my hand. And I'm going to go ahead and plant it in a rock and let it grow in another location. So next time we come to video, we'll see it growing. Yeah, it could just sit just like that. Really great example of a healthy Atlantic coral reef aquarium. Let's take a look at the Pacific side. So the copper band's been here uh, acclimating. He looks very happy. The salinity is the same, about 1026 specific gravity. I'm gonna give a little food into the aquarium in advance. I like giving some food so there's no aggression. That way the fish are pretty happy. So we'll go ahead and just pour them right in. Just so happy, there he goes. Swim buddy, swim. This is his first time he's ever seen a live rock, a piece of coral, another species of fish. It's a big aquarium. Courtney O's would be so happy to see him in his new aquarium. And the copper band butterfly will be able to live in here and thrive for years to come. Very spectacular for a very young 10-month-old coral reef aquarium.